What's going on everybody? Aleem here from Ambitious Labs and I'm gonna give you an introduction to Eleven Labs. Eleven Labs is an API platform for developers to convert text to speech using natural language voice models. This is different than ChatGPT in that it doesn't just generate text, but it actually takes in text and creates voice or audio outputs. So you would use Eleven Labs if you're building an app that requires any sort of voice AI assistance. Say you are building an app where somebody can talk into an app, your app would need to understand what was said and then take that text representation of whatever was said and send it to various APIs and say maybe your app needs to respond with a voice as well. So if you're building like two-way voice assistant apps or you're building a one-way voice assistant app, you would need some way to take the voice and parse it to text or take text and generate voice out of it, correct? So that's what Eleven Labs allows you to do. It is a API platform specifically for generative voice AI only. It's multilingual, meaning you can use almost every popular language and they're adding support for languages all the time. So if you just head over to 11labs.io, we can actually test this ourselves here. Let's run this. Ambitious Labs is a learning community for non-technical people who want to learn how to build apps. Okay, let's try this out in a language like Tamil. Vetriyin siranda rakasiyam tolvikku anjamal munaindu poga uttamamaga uraindu vidal. Let's try it in Hindi. Ab aur prayas na karne ke alawa Wow, cool. So Eleven Labs is skyrocketing in popularity and it's what most people are defaulting to because of their very competitive pricing, um, the ability to actually create voices. So you can use Eleven Labs to train voices as well. But before we get there, let's talk about pricing. For most of y'all, we can fly under the free tier just fine. So we can all get going for the free tier. Ambitious Labs does have a perk, and I will leave a link to that perk in the resources tab of this lesson. But the first month is only $1 and then $5 thereafter, and that covers you for up to 30,000 characters per month. But the beautiful thing is, is that a lot of these AI apps nowadays are telling their users directly, hey, it costs a lot of money to run these AI models, so we need to charge you a monthly subscription. And I want to make sure that when you are building an AI app, you're not thinking too much about cost as like, something that's gonna deplete you. Rather, you think about it as a baseline cost of good or cost of services that you can baseline your uh, revenue from. You can say, hey, if it costs me $2 per user per month, that means I need to charge my user for $9 so I can make that gross margin of $7. So when you approach pricing for these AI tools, I highly encourage you to think about it where <clears throat> you're gonna be passing on this co um, cost to your um, end users. Okay, and then as you grow, they have many other pricing options that make sense. So let's jump in and explore 11 Labs a little bit deeper. Let's create an account and log in. I have an existing account. And once we log in, we're prompted with the speech synthesis tool. This tool is like your OpenAI playground. It's a playground for you to convert text to speech and experiment with all the different voices that you might be implementing in your application. You can see here, the first toggle is voice and they give you a ton of pre-built voices out of the box. Um, you can go through each one of these voices and test exactly how they perform. You can adjust your voice settings here, like stability, clarity, style exaggeration, and as you are working through this, uh, maybe tuning your own voice, you can make adjustments to figure out which one best suits your needs. I would recommend keeping uh, your model on 11 multilingual V2. This is the most up-to-date model. I imagine it works just like uh, ChatGPT API where the older model you go, the cheaper it might be to run, but each model actually has their own pros and cons. So read the different pros and cons based on the model um, and tap on the one you want to use. So let's give this a shot by typing something like ambitious labs is where people come to learn how to build apps. And let's test this out. Ambitious labs is where people come to learn how to build apps. 
That sounded like me, didn't it? Well, it was because I actually trained Eleven Labs on my own voice and used a cloned voice. Let me show you how to do that. So one of the biggest features that Eleven Labs has to offer is their ability to dub voices. You can head over to the Voice Lab tab and you can see that I have some voices that I've been cloning. You can either clone your own voice or a voice you have permission and rights to. I highly recommend that you don't do anything mischievous or you don't do anything illegal here. Please only use voices that you have the rights to. Okay, so head over to Voice Lab, then you can tap add generative or clone voice and we can choose from one of these options. You can click on voice design to use like a stock voice and tune it to meet your needs. Or you can choose instant voice cloning, which allows you to literally have somebody speak into a mic just like this, and you can train a model to reproduce that exact same voice. So that's pretty cool, and that's what I did to reproduce my own voice that you just saw. Or you can tap on voice library and use an existing voice that somebody's already out there creating. Um, I'll tap on instant voice cloning so you can see how this experience looks. I could say something like Aleem's mom if I wanted to use my mother's voice. I could have her speak into the mic for about a minute, upload that file, describe who she is. I could say, you know, first generation American immigrant from India who learned English as a second language. And that would allow the AI to get some more context about who my mom is and what type of uh, linguistic she carries. Um, and then I could clone this and reuse it. It's that simple. You can head over to the voice library to see voices that the community even contributes here because some of these voices are really unique. They might be good for certain use cases like use cases for audiobooks or news, maybe something for storytelling, maybe something for customer service, maybe something for sales. So depending on the type of language that you want to incorporate into your product or the tonality of your voice, um, you could have various um, community driven voices for that. Dubbing is a pretty cool feature that Eleven Labs offers where you can literally just duplicate any type of media. You can click create new dub, select a source like YouTube, TikTok, X, Vimeo, or other, and this will actually dub the entire project and um, change the language of it. So if, say you had a video on YouTube that you wanted to change from English to Hindi, you could just pop the YouTube URL here, go from source language to tech to target language Hindi, and this would actually reproduce you a voice um, file of the new language. So really, really cool voice features. And the most beautiful part about this all is that it's all accessible through the API. So everything you see here is a interface that they've provided you for testing purposes, development purposes. So you come into 11labs.io to do all your playground work, your testing, your dubbing, creating new voices, testing to see how voices behave when you actually type something out and you ask the voice to recite. Um, you can check, um, you can make adjustments to your voice settings here and test various parameters. So they've given you this entire dashboard as a really easy way to make adjustments. But the beauty is that every single thing is accessible by the API. And either you can integrate the REST API yourself, or we can use BuildShip, our no-code API builder, and use BuildShip nodes that easily integrate with 11 labs that allow you to bring this voice functionality into your application without needing to write any custom code like by hand. So I hope you enjoyed this introduction on 11 labs. In the next lesson, we're going to get into more of BuildShip and how we can use 11 labs and BuildShip together to start implementing AI functionality into our application. I'll see you in the next lesson.